Hey guys, so what's going on? Welcome back to the Black Oak Taco channel. So today, we're gonna go from this to this. So stay tuned. All right, so these directions are specific to this BX90 Pelican cargo case, but the same principles can be applied to other cases. So here we're looking at two 16 inch, 10 pound gas struts, two sets of ball stud, one flush mount, one angler mount, and some mounting hardware. So the first thing we wanted to do is remove the retention cables from each side of the container. These come from the factory stock to stop the lid from overextending and breaking the hinges. So next we're going to take a flat razor and we're going to try and get this piece of plastic that came from the factory as flush to the wall as possible. This happened just from installing the screw from the factory. It's just a little bit of burnt out plastic that we need to cut out. So next we're going to take our L angled 10 millimeter ball stud mounting plate and we're going to line it up on the top of the lid and mark our holes for where we're going to drill. All the information and the detail will be linked in the description down below so that way you can follow along. So next we're going to drill these out. We're going to make sure that we don't drill too far into the lid and drill all the way through. So just using a small drill bit we're going to drill through those two little holes. So next we're going to take our L bracket and we're going to install it in the lid with the screws and the kit. Uh, I would recommend actually using a hand uh, screwdriver here versus an impact driver like I am. You can strip these pretty easily so you want to go slow and make sure that they're snug. But ultimately you're going to put in the two screws, line them up, and then screw them in. So our next step here is to actually put in the other ball stud mount on the side of the case. So we're going to use our right square here and we're going to come in about half an inch from the baseline of the edge of the, the square so, and make a little mark. And then what we're going to do is we're going to wind up flipping that upside down, drawing a line straight up and down, and then this is going to be our reference point to butt up the circular ball stud mounting plate. So here we're going to mount our flush mount ball stud. So you can see I'm pushing it up against that line, putting it in the center of the entire bracket area on the case. And now we're just going to mark our holes where we're going to drill so we can put in the other screws to mount this. Once those are marked, we're now going to drill those out using a small drill bit again. And we're going to make sure all three of those holes are drilled. So here we're going to install that flush mount ball stud. Uh, I'm using an impact again. Highly recommend using just a, a hand screwdriver here to put those in. Um, we're going to line up the first screw, put it in, line up the other two holes, and screw it together. Now that both ball stud mounts are on the case, we can go ahead and apply our gas strut by clipping in the, the C-clips on the strut itself. We're gonna tilt the case a little bit forward to get this other one in and snap it on, and it's good to go. So the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to apply these same principles with the exact same measurements to the other side of the case, and you should have both uh, mounted on the case. that we're done so if you guys like the video don't forget to hit like and subscribe 
Uh, we're going to try and do at least two videos a week, so one video every two weeks. It's going to be all about overlanding gear, uh, you know, modifications to do, all kinds of adventure stuff. So thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye.